The McCowan's home is filled with photos of their daughter, Elizabeth Knight. She had a smile that could let him through. A smile they now only get to see in these pictures. Just getting up every day and putting one step, one foot in front of the other has been difficult. Last August, a fun day at Lake Murray turned into tragedy for the family. Just a few days after taking her two kids for a swim, Beth fell ill. What started as a severe headache got much worse. Her roommate had said that uh, she woke up stumbling through the house. She was incoherent. She was diagnosed with bacterial meningitis, but when she continued to rapidly deteriorate, doctors started asking more questions. The history of her having exposure to freshwater swimming in Lake Murray, freshwater lake, was exposed at that time. And uh, that's when the first. Uh, that's the first time that primary amoebic uh, meningoencephalitis was brought up. It was that disease called PAM that took the 24-year-old's life. It's caused by an amoeba called Nigleria phalari. Health experts say the amoeba travels up the nose and into the brain. Symptoms typically start one to nine days after exposure. They start off usually with a high fever, then nausea and vomiting and then later develop into altered mental status and even coma. Beth's family is keeping her memory alive by raising awareness about the disease. She would want us to do everything that we could to prevent this you know, from happening to another family. Now, they're not asking you to not enjoy Oklahoma's Great Lakes and water. They're just asking you to take precautions like plugging your nose before you go in.